Now, after uh, Trump's firing of Steve Bannon, which happened uh, last week, which I was actually honestly kind of surprised, given his adherence to the base, uh, Bannon and his allies have now promised war against the White House. And as said, uh, when uh, he had come, he had he'd went back to Breitbart, and one of the first things he says is, I'm where I belong, I'm free, now I've got my hands back on my weapons. Sources close to Bannon even said, Steve is now unchained, fully unchained. Another said, he's going nuclear. You have no idea. This is going to be really fucking bad. Well, bad for who? Well, that's a good question. Um, I think the uh, for the administration, uh, I think that's the answer. Um, especially since, of course, uh, from talking with his friends and with people who have asked him, he feels like he lost the White House to the Democrats. Now, that's kind of hilarious, but also sort of true in a way. I mean, look, Ivanka was a registered Democrat, Gary Cohn. He's given money to the Democrats. He was a Democratic voter. So basically what you have is the Democratic establishment starting to take charge in the White House. Now, for somebody like Steve Bannon, that is the worst possible outcome. And look... For people who are against the establishment, period. And this means progressives as well. That's also a bad thing. Okay. But now you might be wondering, well, why is that a bad thing? I thought the Democrats are the good guys, right? No, no, not necessarily. And look, they haven't been able to control Trump. The establishment can't control Trump. Trump can't even control Trump. And it's certainly the all right can't control Trump. Nobody controls Trump, right? Despite trying. But look. There's been no wall built, right? No legislative accomplishments have happened. No trade war with China. So here's all the stuff that Bannon was actually there to try to push Trump to do. He didn't do. So, but now the establishment, since they've taken over the White House, well, Bannon's going to war against it. And he has told people close to him that he's actually much better off outside the White House than he is in it. And he feels that the administration is a failing and a sinking ship. Now, he would be correct on that. It is a sinking ship. You know why? Because it's Donald Trump. And so Breitbart, which is a publication that Bannon went back to being CEO of, well, they're preparing for one last torpedo volley to try to take the ship down. This is uh, from Breitbart editor Joe Pollack, who wrote on Friday, quote, this may turn out to be the beginning of the end for the Trump administration. That moment, the, the moment that Donald Trump became Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> Damn. Now, if you were to ask me what this means, I would say the administration, they're already fucked without the help of Breitbart. Um, but boy, add in the Breitbart now turning against them. Well, you've got some problems. And I'm not saying this uh, from the criticism angle either. I mean... We can't forget that Robert and Rebecca Mercer are essentially Bannon allies that gave huge amounts of money to the Trump administration. They were the primary, the biggest funder to Donald Trump in the election cycle. So here we go, man. We've got the main money people that are probably going to pull out. That's in serious, serious jeopardy. That's assuming, of course, Donald Trump makes it to 2020. Now, you had two of Bannon's friends uh, that told The Atlantic that Bannon had recently met with Robert Mercer this week in New York while Trump was still in town. He said, quote, uh, first, he's going to figure out things with Bob and Becca. Breitbart is certainly the likely landing spot. This ally also said that Bannon may also move to a Mercer-funded outside group or even start a new one. That new one, that's probably going to be used to attack Trump. Another friend of Bannon said, why would he... Uh, help them from the outside at this point, run the outside group, and then Jared Kushner takes credit? Two sources close to Bannon also said that he has for some time complained about Kushner being an issue in the Russia investigation. One of the sources said Bannon regards Kushner as, quote, the weak link in the White House when it comes to the investigation. Another source close to Bannon said that he remains loyal to Donald Trump himself, so I'm sure some of you might be wondering that. But when Steve feels the Trump administration is wrong... Will he point to the people he has the inside knowledge about who are pushing for certain policies? I assume 
he will. And I would say that's a, a fair assumption. Now, remember, this is Steve Bannon. He doesn't play nice. He doesn't mince words. And now that he's back at Breitbart and he's gunning for certain members of the administration, for example, H.R. McMaster, uh, your Jared Kushner, which, oh man, Jared Kushner is Ivanka's husband. So that's very, very close to the family. Here we go. Watch out. This whole thing is not going to be pretty. It's going to get very ugly. It's going to get very ugly very fast. Hey, everybody. Thanks for watching this video. If you want to see more like this, please hit the subscribe button below. And if you want to support truly independent progressive media, please consider becoming a patron at patreon.com slash TYT Nation.